So these letters A, B, C, and D, A, B, C, and D, will help us create what's called a determinant. A second order or a two by two determinant, you'll see two by two or second order because it's two by two, third order would be three by three. Determinant is the value of the number A times D minus B times C. Okay, so writing that as one little sentence, we have the determinant of the matrix that's two by two with these entries is equal to A times D subtract B times C. So a couple things just to put on our papers right away. I would grab a highlighter for this one. You create this number, this determinant in a two by two matrix by doing the following. We go like this. Boo. We are gonna multiply A times D and then subtract B times C. So do you see how it like flips over like that? That's gonna be the way that we do this um, determinant number. A times D, B times C. So it kind of flips over like that. Uh, one of the definitions you had in your homework problems last time that we kind of, oh, why does it not stick? That we had to talk about a little bit was the word invertible. So this determinant right here, this A times D minus B times C, if it's any number besides zero, that means that it is invertible meaning it has an inverse. So that was a definition that popped up on our homework last time, and that's what this is talking about. We're talking about the determinant. If the determinant is anything other than zero, then we're good to go. Now, finding the determinant, again, for a two-by-two two matrix, really pretty easy because it's just that swoop. But when the matrix matrices get larger, it's really complicated to find your determinant, so we're going to use our calculator for that. Your calculator steps are here at the front. We're not gonna use them the first problem we do because I want you to see it by hand because it's a two by two matrix, so it's easy, but let's highlight some important moments here. To find the determinant, again, that's our vocabulary word of today, the determinant. You're gonna still need to use that matrix menu, which is blue. So you press second X to the negative one to get to that matrix menu. You're gonna go over to math and you're gonna highlight the first option this time called determinant and you'll press enter. It puts the DET on your screen, and then you'll type in your matrix, which is what these steps are telling you. You'll type in all of your matrix, and then you'll find a number. Remember, our determinant now is some number we get when we do that swoop, that red swoop, A times D minus B times C. So we'll do it by hand. We'll check in the calculator, because for a two by two matrix, it's really pretty easy. So we're, fi we're finding the determinant. We're gonna do this, follow the swoop. So if we were doing this by hand, it would be negative two times negative one, subtract three times four. That's A times D minus B times C. Well, negative two times negative one is positive two, and three times four is 12, so two minus 12. That means our determinant here is negative 10. The things we learn about this is that now we know that this matrix is invertible because its determinant is literally anything other than zero. Now let's check on our calculator and make sure we know how to do this. So follow the steps on the top, press second, press matrix which is the X to the negative one button. Let me get my calculator pulled up. And then you're gonna type in the matrix after you choose determinant, which determinant is the first one. There, come on calculator. So we press second matrix. We go over to math. That first option says determinant. We go to alpha zoom. We make a two by two matrix like we've been doing. Oop. This is a two by we will fill this in with the numbers negative 2 and then 3 and then 4 and then negative 1 we press enter pow it also tells me negative 10 make sense cool so when you do matrix arithmetic, some work with matrices. We've already found one way to solve a linear equation, which is the RREF. We can also use what's called Kramer's rule to solve systems of equations. 
Kramer's rule relies heavily on the use of determinants. So we will find the solution to the system by doing the following. Okay, highlight along with me. I need you to highlight the S and the T, my constants here. And if you notice, there are three different determinants we're finding. The first one is the determinant of the plane A, B, C, D letters coming from the system. What's different about this derivative, or sorry, not derivative, determinant with an X underneath it? What has been replaced? G and T. Is replaced by what? S and T. Okay, interesting. So in the X positions, we've now put S and T. In the next one, what has been replaced now? Yeah, the Y positions have been replaced with S and T. So long as our determinant is not zero, meaning it's invertible, we can find the solution, the X and the Y, that solves this equation by doing the following. We can do the de determinant for X's divided by the determinant itself, and it will give me the X value. We can do the determinant of the Y's divided by the determinant itself, and it will give me the Y value. So remember, when we're solving a system, our goal is to have some sort of x comma y. So we can use these two things right here, x and y, to create that um, ordered pair. Okay, let's see one of these examples uh, in action. Again, we're still going to do a little bit by hand because two by two matrices, I can't help myself, it's too easy. So we're going to use Kramer's rule to solve the system. The reason it says if applicable is because we have to make sure first that the regular determinant is not zero. So we're gonna find the determinant of the matrix created by three, negative six, five, and four. Where did I get those numbers from? Yeah, be more specific, but yes. The matrix? No. The system. the system. They're the coefficients of the X and the Y in the system. Do we see that? Okay, can't help myself, we're gonna do it by hand. This is gonna be three times four minus negative six times five. This is that swoop that I just did a little bit ago, right? That's this one. It's the right color. Okay, three times four is 12. Negative six times five is negative 30, so minus negative 30 means plus 30. So that means my regular determinant is 42. Since it is not equal to zero, we're good to go. If you get zero there, you stop, you say you can't use this. Let's find the X version and the Y version of this determinant. This means that the matrix I'm gonna solve for the X's is gonna be what four numbers? Uh-huh. Yep. Amazing. All right, so look, we take the constants, the equal to numbers, and we sub them in for the x's. When we do the determinant this time, either with our calculator or by hand, again by hand because I just can't help myself, this is 24 times 4 minus negative 6 times 12. Do all of that math. 24 times 4 is 96. We're going to subtract 12 times 6, which is or negative 12 times 6, which is, what is that? 276, right? Yeah. No. No, you're right. That's not right. That's better. We add those together, we get 168. If I'm making the matrix that's the determinant with the y's, what numbers am I putting in that determinant? Three, five, a, a column with 3 and 5, a column with 24 and 12, yes. Because again, my y values this time are, cre are replaced with those constants. Again, in your calculator or in your brain, this is 3 times 12 minus 24 times 5. That would be 36 minus, what is that, 0 minus 120, yeah, which is negative 84. Woo-wee, we've done all this mess. What was the actual question here? It's asking me to solve the system. 
Solving a system of equations means that I should have x, y answers. So I need to use the next part of this Kramer's rule to figure out those x's and those y's. It says that we can find x if we take the number that is the determinant of x and divide it by the regular determinant, which means this would be 168 divided by 42. Do we see where I'm getting those numbers from? 168 divided by 42 is equal to 4, so my x value is 4. We get the y from Kramer's rule. If we take the determinant of the y's divided by the determinant itself, which is negative 84 divided by 42, which is just a cute little negative 2. So my solution is 4 comma negative 2. Pause, whoa, let's chat for a second. What happened here? Is there a moment we want to ask questions about? This one down here is a three by three matrix. No more by hand because, ew, gross, it's honestly terrible to do by hand. It's doable, it's just tedious, I guess is the word I should use. So we are gonna to turn to our calculator to do this. So in our calculator, we should type the determinant of and then have this entire matrix there. Now those steps are on the other side of this page, which is kind of annoying. So I'll remind you, on your calculator, you can put the matrix first or the determinant first, just depending, I know a lot of you were doing this first and then writing the matrix, so I'll adjust to you. We'll do the determinant. Then we put in our matrix. This is a three by three. Here's to hoping I don't make any typos. Nope, already making typos. So we type in our numbers, which is 2, negative 1, 3, and then negative 2, 5, 1, 0, 6, negative 9. So again, just Shortcutting to doing the calculator version of the determinant is absolutely fine. Your calculator would spit out to you that this determinant is negative 120. Next one is for you to try on your own. So you have example four. Again, three by three or third order determinants are kind of crazy to do by hand, so we do them in the calculator for sure. So in your calculator, you would select to do the determinant of this matrix 1, 2, 1, 3, 5, 1, 2, 6, 7, and it would should spit out to you that this determinant is negative 1. Remember, a key thing here is if you ever get a determinant that's 0, it's not going to be invertible if that happens to pop up for you. So just like we took the two by two, mm, two variable matrix, and used two by two matrices to solve it, that was this problem up here, we can expand this to solving three variable systems with three different determinants. Okay? Now this, this rule follows suit with the rule that we learned before. It's got a whole lot of notation here, but basically what we're trying to say is the determinant, if it's regularly not equal to zero, again, we have to make sure that the regular determinant is some number other than zero. We can find all three x, y, and z's by doing the determinant of the x's over the regular determinant, the determinant of the y's over the regular determinant, and the determinant of the z's over the regular determinant. That would give me the ordered triple x, y, and z that I'm going to want as my solution set. Now, just like before, we create these other determinants, the ones with the x, y, and z, by replacing the first column for x's with the constants, the second column for y's, and the third column for the z determinant. See how it changes with each letter? So we'll do this last one together just so we can see how this works. 
We're gonna use Kramer's rule, which is the stuff up here in the top to solve this three by three system. Before we really get too far at all, we always wanna go ahead and check the regular determinant to make sure that it is invertible. So we're gonna find the determinant of one, two, one, three, five, one, two, six, seven. Do we all know where those numbers came from? Two, one, or one, two, one comes from the first equation. Those are the coefficients. Three, five, one is the second. Two, six, seven is the third. It is negative one. So we would type that into our calculator. We would get negative one. Since this is any number other than zero, we are good to go. We need that to happen. If you get zero, full stop, we can't use this method. Okay, let's do that first determinant, the determinant with the x's, which means I'm going to replace that first column with the coefficients, sorry, the constants, 1, 3, and 1. But the rest of it should be exactly the same like it was a second ago. You would use your calculator because it's a 3 by 3 determinant, which is way too big. Does anyone need me to go through those steps again, or are we okay? We're good. We should get two. I hope you trust me. I'm going to leave you here to just make sure you got it. I want you to find the determinant with y's. Write down the actual matrix first and then tell me what it's equal to. And then the determinant of the z's, same thing. Make sure you write the matrix and then tell me the number. I'll give you a few minutes because that's a lot of typing. So again, I know that's a lot of typing. And a great question that was asked is, where did I get the numbers 1, 3, 1 from, this column? And that's a great question. Remember that we are replacing a, one column each time with the constant. So I got them from the numbers that are on the other side of the equal sign. They're going to be replacing the x's, the y's, then the z's for each of these determinants. And hopefully you got the same numbers as me. Do we all agree? Fabulous. So if I actually wanted to find the x value for the system, I would have to take the number I got for the determinant with the x's and divide it by the regular determinant. Okay, well, that was 2 divided by negative 1, so my x value is just negative 2. My y value would be found by taking the determinants of y and dividing it by the number I got for the regular determinant which would be negative two divided by negative one. Therefore, my y value is two. My z coordinate for this one would be the determinant of z's divided by the determinant, which would be one divided by negative one. Therefore, my z value would be negative one. So my ordered triple would be negative two comma, two comma negative one. Now your homework today is gonna ask you to do these kinds of problems and some of them are ask, gonna ask you to set it up and then solve it. If it asks for the solutions or to solve it, you're just wanting these numbers or these numbers depending how it's asked. But I did look ahead and it's asking you to set this up not just by typing D with the sub of X, it wants you to actually take this matrix and put it on the top of the fraction and then take this entire matrix and put it on the bottom. So you're showing the setup, then you can just beep beep bop the numbers and give me the answer. Not all of them will want that, but that's what it means by setup. It wants you to take the entire type in the entire matrix you used for the determinant or the determinant with x. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. You have the rest of the time to work on what you need. Those of you who need a little bit more quiz time, come get it back out of the basket and you can finish it and then leave it back in the basket. If you're good to go, go to your homework and start working.